In this video, I'm going to show you some real-world shooting techniques in some beautiful temples. But first, let's get those tech specs out of the way. There's a lot less tourists than normal in Thailand, but a lot more construction, as you can hear in the background. Uh, but it's a great opportunity to get shots of empty temples and lots of these spaces that otherwise would be clogged with tourists. So we've got the A7S III on the DJI RS2 and 18mm f2.8 lens on my camera here. And I'm just going to go around getting B-roll type shots of temples. If I want to get a shot of like the ceiling, then an easy way to do that is to just dip the gimbal down like this, double click, that puts it in like flashlight mode. And then you bring it back up and now it's pointed at the ceiling. I filmed this shot in pan tilt follow mode and I just sort of slid my feet along the ground to get smoother movement. At the last second here, I decided to tilt up to that Buddha. A lot of the time when I'm doing these shots, I kind of make up the movement as I go. And here you notice I'm not looking at the monitor as I walk. And that's because if the gimbal's in lock mode, I don't necessarily need to see what I'm shooting because the camera's gonna stay pointed in the same direction. And I can pretty much predict how the shot will come out. This shot is in POV mode. And this one's just in pan follow with a little speed ramp there that I added in post. Here's tilt follow only. Here I am in POV mode, letting the gimbal swing just a little bit. I like that because it gives it a little bit of natural extra movement. And this one is pan follow. I like to do gimbal shots that move between two different subjects in interesting and unusual ways. We're up on the roof of a temple now, and it's almost sunset. The sun's about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes away from being gone. First, I'm gonna try something basic that just captures, hopefully, a fraction of what I'm seeing, because this is just incredibly beautiful up here. And once I get that shot, then I'll move on to other more experimental shots. Uh, yeah, and I don't have that long to do it, because once the sun goes down, it's gone. So, let's see what we get. Using a wide-angle lens at a low angle will make your subject look bigger. And here I'm lowering the camera all the way down past the statue because I could use the edge of the carpet as a transition into another scene. Here's a little improvised move. I saw these monks about to take a picture and I moved the gimbal toward them. Right in time for the guy to hold up the camera and take the picture. Here I'm trying to incorporate three subjects. We've got the tower of the temple there, and then the monks sitting on their phones, and the cityscape. And I try to create a smooth move through all those subjects. It is getting really windy, and I've already got all the wide shots I could possibly get in this location. 
So I'm just uh, gonna shoot with my 85 lens, 85 1.8. This is the Sony 85 lens. And I'm switching over to uh, 120p to shoot slow motion. Because whenever it's windy, there's a lot of motion going on, so you can take advantage of it by increasing your frame rate uh, and then slowing it down later in post. So you see me squatting while I'm shooting, you know, doing this instead of using my arms. It's because legs are steadier than arms. Your body becomes progressively less stable the higher up you go. So this is the least stable. And down there, this is the most stable, right? So the further you get from the ground, the less stable you are. And here I'm using tap to focus. That's it for this shoot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.